The radio was on, as usual. For a second, she stood by the window and watched the people inside. The bald-headed man and the gray-haired lady were playing cards at a table. Mick sat on the ground. This was a very fine and secret place. Close around were thick cedars so that she was completely hidden by herself. The radio was no good tonight. Somebody sang popular songs that all ended in the same way. It was like she was empty. She reached in her pockets and felt around with her fingers. There were raisins and a buckeye and a string of beads, one cigarette with matches. She lighted the cigarette and put her arms around her knees. It was like she was so empty there wasn't even a feeling or a thought in her. One program came on after another, and all of them were punk. She didn't especially care. She smoked and picked a little bunch of grass blades. After a while, a new announcer started talking. He mentioned Beethoven. She had read in the library about that musician. His name was pronounced with an A and spelt with a double E. He was a German fellow like Mozart. When he was living, he spoke in a foreign language and lived in a foreign place, like she wanted to do. The announcer said they were going to play his third symphony. She only halfway listened because she wanted to walk some more and she didn't care much what they played. Then the music started. Mick raised her head and her fist went up to her throat. How did it come? For a minute, the opening balanced from one side to the other, like a walk or a march like God strutting in the night. The outside of her was suddenly froze, and only that first part of the music was hot inside her heart. She could not even hear what sounded after, but she sat there, waiting and froze with her fists tight, and a while later the music came again, harder and loud. It didn't have anything to do with God. This was her, Mick Kelly, walking in the daytime and by herself at night, in the hot sun and in the dark with all the plans and feelings. This music was her, the real plain her.